Historically, fire has played a vital role in shaping many forest ecosystems. Some forests were maintained in an open, park-like state with the occurrence of frequent, low-intensity surface fires. In contrast, other forests developed into dense conditions and experienced infrequent stand-replacing crown fires. However, the role of fire has changed, primarily due to fire suppression policies that were introduced during the last century. Fire suppression has led to denser stands with more canopy cover and greater numbers of small trees. In the event of a fire, these elements lead to hotter, more intense flames and a greater risk of crown fire. And with the expansion of urban areas into forested lands, intense fires, which are hard to control, are a great risk to people and property. So how do foresters and other natural resource managers take into account these changing forest conditions and determine appropriate management activities? One available tool is the Fire and Fuels Extension to the Forest Vegetation Simulator. The Fire and Fuels Extension links the existing forest growth models of the Forest Vegetation Simulator with models of fire behavior and fire effects such as BEHAVE, NEXUS, and FOFUM and newly developed models of fuel and snag dynamics. Its creation was possible through cooperation of many people and agencies. The first step in understanding the Fire and Fuels Extension is to review the Forest Vegetation Simulator. The Forest Vegetation Simulator, also known as FVS, simulates changes in forest stand conditions through time. FVS is an individual tree model that runs on standard inventory data. The model was developed by the U.S. Forest Service and has been calibrated for most forested areas of the United States and portions of Canada and Europe. Forest managers commonly use FVS to summarize current stand conditions, predict future stand conditions under various management alternatives, and update inventory statistics for forest planning. FVS can simulate virtually any management scenario but its uses are not limited to timber management applications. FVS can be used for other purposes such as assessing stand structure and composition, determining the suitability of stands for wildlife habitat, and simulating the effects of disturbance agents such as insects, pathogens, and fire. FVS is one of the most powerful, flexible, and widely used forest growth models in the world. As noted earlier, the Fire and Fuels Extension, also known as FFE, is linked to the Forest Vegetation Simulator, or FVS. Elizabeth Reinhardt is one of the developers of the Fire and Fuels Extension. To manage fuels and sustain ecosystems, we need to be able to predict mid to long term site specific effects of management actions, including no action, on potential fire behavior and effects. The Fire and Fuels Extension to the Forest Vegetation Simulator provides this capability. FFE FVS allows users to simulate snag and fuel dynamics and fire potential over time in the context of stand management and development. It was created by combining existing models of vegetation, fire behavior, and fire effects with new models of fuel and snag dynamics. With FFE, management activities can be evaluated for effects on stand structure and composition, wildlife habitat, fuels, and potential fire behavior and effects as they change over time. This allows managers to use science to make decisions that best meet their objectives. The FFE is calibrated for most of the western United States and is currently being expanded to the east. The combined FFE FES software allows users to simulate many different fuel treatments. These include thinning and prescribed burns. Pruning, chopping, compacting, and removal of fuels also can be simulated. With the FFE, users can compare wildfire effects under different management strategies. FFE can not only produce tabular output, but also can produce a visual output for comparison. Using our visual output, let's compare the effects of three possible management activities on the same stand to see how they affect wildland fire behavior in the future. We'll compare a do-nothing scenario, a prescribed burn scenario, and a thinning scenario. First, look at what happens when a wildfire occurs in 2035 with no present management activities. You can see the stand growing for approximately 30 years from its present condition. When the wildfire occurs in 2035, it's quite intense. Crown fire occurs in a large portion of the stand, killing most of the trees. 
Now let's look at what happens if we reduce fuels through prescribed burning in 2005. The prescribed burn occurs when wind speeds are low and fuels are moist. As a result, it's a low intensity surface fire, consuming surface fuels, some ladder fuels, and eliminating new growth. Ladder fuels are instrumental in carrying surface fires into the canopy. As a result, when the wildfire occurs in 2035, the fire is less intense. Torching occurs in only a few trees, and no crown fire is sustained. Finally, let's look at what happens if we thin the stand in 2005. The thinning reduces ladder fuels even further than the prescribed burn treatment. You can see regeneration coming in after the thinning. When the wildfire occurs in 2035, it's a low intensity surface fire and no torching occurs. As mentioned before, tabular and graphical output can be produced. Reports can be printed with information about potential fire hazard and fuel levels over time. In addition, output related to simulated fires, including both prescribed and wildland fires, is available. Various reports show fire behavior, mortality, fuel consumption, and smoke production. Wildlife managers interested in snags and the habitat they provide may also find the fire and fuels extension useful. FFE models snag dynamics and offers estimates of snag levels over time. The fire and fuels extension is used primarily in planning by forest managers rather than by crews in the field and it can be utilized for many different purposes. In the past it's been used to characterize forest structure, fuel loads, potential fire hazard, and to evaluate fuel treatments. However, the FFE's capabilities extend far beyond these uses. It can also be used as a resource to forest managers in creating forest management plans. It can help to educate the public on issues such as fuel reduction treatments, and it can be applied in the legal arena, helping to resolve issues such as litigation that relates to harvest practices. The Fire and Fuels Extension to FES is a powerful tool that can help resource managers with assessments and decision-making about which fuel treatments would best achieve their goals. For more information regarding the Fire and Fuels Extension, including training sessions, contact the FES staff at this address.